everyone welcome back to my channel gems of knowledge so i am here with another video on exercise 9.4 of mensuration chapter from class 8th so before starting the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new videos so here you can see the first question is given given a cylindrical tank in which situation you will find surface area and in which situation you will find volume so we have to identify if one cylindrical tank is given so in which of this situation we will find surface area and which among this situation we will find the volume so first one they have given to find how much it can hold holding means they are asking us about the capacity total space okay so if it is asked like this how much of content is uh, it can hold so in that cases we have to find the volume so here you can see we find volume when the amount of space is occupied by some object okay whenever something is occupied if the cylindrical tank is filled with water then its capacity we will call okay so in that conditions we have to find the volume number of cement bags required to plaster it so whenever they are asking about the number to cover okay so number of cement bags required to plaster means to cover some area so at that time we are going to find the surface area so you can see here we find surface area when some region is covered by a boundary okay so in that conditions we need to find the uh, surface surface area what they are asking us here number of cement bags required to plaster it means we need to plaster some amount of area so that condition is nothing but the surface area then third one to find the number of smaller tanks that can be filled with water from it so using one bigger tank we have to fill we have to transfer water from bigger tank to the smaller water uh, sorry smaller tanks so in that conditions also we need to fill that uh, smaller tanks so in that conditions also we need to find the capacity only so to find volume we know uh, to know the space occupied so there also the space will be occupied so in that condition also we need to find the volume okay then second question diameter of the cylinder a here two cylinders has been given diameter of first cylinder that is cylinder a is given as 7 centimeter okay diameter and its height is 14 centimeter its height is given as 14 centimeter next diameter of cylinder b they have given and it is double of this okay that is 14 centimeter and height is half of the first one that is height is 7 centimeter without doing any calculation can you suggest whose volume is greater okay without doing any calculations can we suggest whose volume will be greater yes we can but how we can say that that volume of cylinder b will be greater than a because of the greater radius so this is having the greater diameter obviously if it is having greater diameter its radius will also be greater here the, it is having smaller diameter means if you divide it by 2 again you will get smaller value here you will get bigger value so this capacity this volume will be volume of uh, cylinder b will be greater verify it by finding the volume of both the cylinder check whether the cylinder with volume greater volume also has the greater surface area okay so we need to find the uh, volumes of both the cases so uh, we have to verify it okay just for the first one for cylinder a diameter they have given 7 centimeter and height is given as 14 so radius will be diameter divided by 2 that is 7 by 2 okay so we will keep this 7 by 2 as it is into the formula so volume of a cylinder is pi r square h pi value is 22 by 7 into r r we got that is radius we got 7 by 2 r square is given so we have taken 2 times that is 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 into h is given that is 14 so here we can cancel okay 7 1s are 7 7 2s are 14 and 2 1s are and 2 1s are cancel again 2 1s are and 2 1s are 2 1s are 2 11s are 22 what we are left with 11 into 7 into 7 so answer will be 539 centimeter cube similarly for uh, volume of cylinder b diameter they have given that is 14 h is 7 so 14 by 2 is nothing but 7 centimeter radius is given as 7 centimeter so volume of b is equals to pi pi r square h again pi value r square we got r that is 7 into 7 into height is also 7 so 7 and 7 is cancelled 7 7 is a 49 49 into 22 we are going to get 1078 centimeter cube so which one uh, volume is greater cylinder b volume is greater similarly we need to find out also find the surface area so we need to find the surface area of this also 
so here you can see the total surface area of the cylinder that is 2 pi r plus pi r square why here we have taken to pi r square see this is 2 pi r 2 pi r is nothing but the curved surface area of cylinder plus it is uncovered it is not covered from the top it is only covered from the bottom so bottom is in the circular shape so what is the circumference that is area of circle that is nothing but pi r square okay since top is open one top top side it will be opened only the bottom side we are having pi r square so let us substitute 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 into r value is 7 by 2 for cylinder a r value we got 7 by 2 plus pi value is 22 by 7 into r square that is 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 so 7 7 is cancelled 2 and 2 is cancelled here we are left with 22 plus here also 7 and 7 is cancelled 2 ones are and 2 11s are 22 so 11 into 7 that is 77 divided by 2 is left so lcm uh, lcm you can take or directly you can multiply here so 2 into 22 we are getting 44 plus 77 divided by 2 okay this whole 2 so 77 plus 44 is 121 divided by 2 if you divide this you are going to get 60.5 centimeter square similarly total surface area of cylinder b the same formula again the top is opened only the bottom and the curved surface area will be present so let us substitute 2 value is here pi value is 22 by 7 into r here is 7 so 7 and 7 is cancelled plus pi value is 22 by 7 into radius in case of cylinder b is 7 so 7 and 7 is cancelled again what is left 2 into 2 is 44 plus 22 into 7 is 154 so if you add this both you are going to get 198 centimeter square so cylinder b will be having both greater volume as well as greater surface area okay so you can see the third question Find the height of cuboid whose base area is 180 centimeter square and volume is 900 centimeter cube. So what we need to find here? We need to find the height. Okay. So volume they have given, base they have given. So base area means we are having length into breadth. Okay. Base they have given. It means base area. Base area means that circular path. Okay. Pi r square one. Okay. So but in the case of volume, we don't need pi r square. Only in the case of uh, surface area, we were having pi r square okay so but in case of volume we need this formula that is length into breadth into height so how can we find out so for the base we don't have the height we will not having the height only we will be having length and breadth so length and breadth base, base area means we will consider it into uh, length into breadth so length into breadth is 180 centimeter square let us substitute already given volume is 900 centimeter cube which is equals to length into breadth we got 180 into height okay so if you take this to this side 0 and 0 will be cancelled okay 9 1s are 9 9 2s are 18 okay or else you can directly write 18 1s are 18 18 5s are 19 so what is remaining h is equals to 5 centimeter okay next fourth question a cuboid is of dimension 60 in 60 centimeter into 54 into 30 centimeter this is cuboid okay how many small cubes with sides 6 centimeter can be placed in the given cuboid okay so a cu uh, let us consider we are having a cuboidal box okay which is 60 centimeter into 54 centimeter into 30 centimeter but we are having how many we don't know how many cubes okay we are having cubes which are of six centimeter each okay so that six centimeters cube we need to fix inside this cuboid box so we need to know how many cubes will be fitted into this cuboid box so length is given breadth is given height is given volume of cuboid formula is l into b into h so let us substitute after multiplying all these things we will get the answer okay let us not find the answer we will keep it as it is so let us see the volume of cube here side of the cube is given six centimeters so volume of cube formula is a cube that is six into six into six centimeter cube so number of small cubes we need to find this by dividing number of volume of cuboid to volume of cube so volume of cuboid we got 60 into 54 into 30 which is divided by six into six into six so this is six ones are six six fives are 30 okay again 6 1s are 6 6 9s are 54 again 6 1s are 6 6 10s are 60 so 9 5s are you can see 9 5s are 45 we are having 45 into 10 is 450 cubes so in that particular cuboid box we can fit 450 cubes 
ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ वन फाइंड द हाइट ऑफ द सिलेंडर हुज वॉल्यूम इफ वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर मीटर क्यूब एंड द डायमीटर ऑफ द बेस इज वन फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर सो वॉल्यूम दे हैव गिवन इट इज मीटर एंड बेस दे हैव गिवन इन वन फोर्टी दैट इज डायमीटर ऑफ द बेस दे हैव गिवन वन फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर ओके दिस इज इन मीटर एंड दिस इज इन सेंटीमीटर ओके सो रेडियस वॉट विल बी द रेडियस वी नो यू नो दैट यू वॉन्ट रेडियस इन टू द फॉर्मूला सो वी डोंट नीड डायमीटर सो वॉट वी विल डू डिवाइड दिस डायमीटर बाई टू दैट इज वन फोर्टी बाई टू इट विल बी सेवेंटी सेंटीमीटर सो लेट इज राइट वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर इज इक्वल्स टू पाई आर स्क्वायर एच सो बिफोर राइटिंग द वॉल्यूम दिस इज इन मीटर एंड दिस इज इन सेंटीमीटर सो वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट आइदर दिस इन टू सेंटीमीटर और सेंटीमीटर इन टू मीटर वन एंड द सेम ओके सो वी नो दैट वन मीटर इज इक्वल्स टू ओके वन मीटर क्यूब so we know that we should remember that वन meter is equals to हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर so if it is cubed वन meter cube so this will also be cube so हंड्रेड cube will be this much okay that is uh, let us count this हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड लैक्स सो टेन लैक्स सेंटीमीटर cubes okay so if वन meter is equals to this much then what will be वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस यू नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर एंड Uh, that many remaining zeros will be added here. That is four zeros will be added. One point five four means here it will be and remaining four zeros. Okay, so let us substitute volume of cylinder in centimeter. That will be fifteen lakh forty thousand. Yes, fifteen lakh forty thousand, which is equals to pi value. They have given twenty two by seven into r. We got seventy centimeter. So square is given seventy into seventy into height. Okay. So if you take all this to this side, it will become multiplication will become divide, and this divided will become multiplied. This will be cross multiplied. That is, uh, this much into seven, and the seventy into seventy into twenty two will be divided by. So you can see seven ones are seven. Okay, seven. Seven tens are okay. So first, what they have done? Two zeros we have cancelled here from this two zeros, and seven ones are and seven ones are is cancelled. Okay. Then again, seven ones are seven. Seven twos are fourteen. One will be carried. Seven twos are fourteen, and this two zeros remaining. Okay. Then two ones are two ones are again here also two ones are two two ones are two two zeros will be as it is. Then again, eleven ones are eleven. Eleven ones are eleven, and two zeros. So H is equals to Hundred centimeter. If h is equals to hundred centimeter, see here, hundred centimeter is equals to one meter. So it will be equals to one meter. Okay. Next, sixth one. A milk tank is in the form of cylinder whose radius is one point five meter and length is seven meter. Find the call. Quantity of milk in liters that can be stored in the tank. So radius is given, height is given, volume formula is there. So you need to substitute pi value is twenty two by seven into r is one point five into one point five into seven. So seven and seven is cancelled. If you multiply all these, you are going to get forty nine point five meter cube. So we know that one meter cube will be equals to thousand liter. So forty nine point five meter cube will be equals to forty nine thousand five hundred. Liter. Okay, so forty nine point five into thousand. That is, this much you are going to get. Okay, next seventh one. If each edge of a cube is doubled, okay, each edge, each edge of the cube is doubled. How many times will its surface area increase? So the cube will be having how many edges? You need to know that uh, it will be having twelve edges, and that if the twelve edges, each edge is doubled. We don't know what is the uh what is the measurement of that uh, uh, edge of the cube but if the single edge is doubled then we need to find how much time will its surface area increase so let us take let the edge of the cube be l so we know that surface area of the cube is equals to 6l square if each edge is doubled then the surface area will be doubled okay just see length 6 will be as it is but the length will be doubled okay length Or the edge will be doubled, so it will become two l, two times of l. Okay, so we are having according to the formula six into instead of l, we need to take double. That is two l whole square. So two into two is four, four l square it will be. That is, it means surface area will increase by how many times? See, this is the formula of surface area six l square. What is extra here? That is four is extra. So it will be increased by how many times? It will be increased by four times. Four times of six l square. Four times of surface area. 
means it will increase four times by the surface area similarly one more question is asked how many times will its volume increase okay so let us solve ha huh. volume of the cube we have to consider it volume of the cube is l cube okay so if the edges are doubled here then it will be like this l will become 2l doubled in the sense l will become 2l so according to the formula 2l cube okay so 2 into 2 into 2 that is 3 times it will be 8 8l cube so 8l cube is what volume so the volume increase will be by 8 times here it was 4 times here it will be increased by 8 times so the last question of this exercise that is water is poured pouring into a cuboidal reservoir at the rate of 60 liters per minute so for one per minute 60 liter water will be filled into the cuboidal reservoir if the volume of reservoir is 108 meter cube find the number of hours it will take to fill the reservoir so number of hours it will take to fill that complete reservoir we need to find out so volume is given that is 108 meter cube rate of pouring is 60 liters per minute okay 60 liters per minute so 60 liters means if you consider this liter into meter okay so it will be 60 divided by 1000 since 1 meter is equals to 1000 liter so you need to know 60 liters means how much so you need to divide this 60 by this 1000 so it will be 60 divided by 1000 meter cube per minute so instead of liters we have converted this into meter cube to convert this we need to divide it by 1000 okay so next here you can see ha huh? 60 into 60 why we have taken 60 into 60 because your minute is converted to hour okay we need to find out how many number of hours so what we will do instead of minute we will consider hour so we have divided 60 into 60 divided by 1000 meter cube per hour for one hour reservoir will take this much amount of water okay so if it is 1 meter cube it will take you have to reverse this if it is 1 meter cube see if it is 1 meter cube it will take 1000 divided by 16 into 60 hours but if it is 108 meter cube then it will take 108 must be multiplied by this whole number that is 108 into 1000 divided by 16 into 60 so 0 and 0 cancel here also 0 and 0 cancel so 6 ones are 6 6 ones are 6 four will be remaining 6 eights are 48 Okay, then again six ones are six, six threes are eighteen. So three into ten is remaining. That is thirty hours. So completely to fill this cuboidal reservoir, it will take thirty hours. Okay, so I hope you have understood with this exercise. If you are having any doubts regarding this, you can comment me down below. I'll be back with another video. So till then, stay tuned and stay connected. Thank you.